Hi guys, welcome back to the Genit Testing Framework uh, tutorial. In this session, I am going to explain how you can write a unit test cases for and when a method throws an exception. Let's go ahead and start. So I am going to um, create a new class. New class and this exception test I'm clicking on finish and then let us write a two methods public um, float division of two numbers and it is going to accept int input 1 comma int input 2 now let us say return input 1 divided by input 2 now we know that whenever input 1 value is some value and input 2 is 0 automatically this is going to throw the arithmetic exception now we are going to look at how we can handle the arithmetic exception uh, to write a particular test case and similarly let us say public string written sorry public string written length length of string and string input okay so written input one input dot length now this method also for example if the input is um now let us consider if the input is null then this method is automatically throws the null pointer exception now let us consider if we want to write a int test cases for this one how we can write uh, the class what i am giving is handle exception test case click finish so write a first first test cases public void test arithmetic exception and now first what we need to do is we need to create a object for the exception test class exception test test equal to new exception test and then we are going to call test dot division of two numbers what we are going to do is 10 comma 0 now basically this is going to throw the arithmetic exception so how we can capture this one is at the rate of test this is an annotations let us go and import this one from the jnit org dot jnit and here it is going to accept a parameter that is expected and equal to it is going to throw the arithmetic exception dot class okay so whenever you are going to divide with the um, zero it is going to throw the mathematic exception so similarly we have one more test case to handle the null pointer exception null pointer exception that uh, this is to test null pointer exception here test dot return length 
of the string let us consider i'm passing a value none okay so now if i go ahead and run these two um, test cases right click run as gain a test then these two use uh, test cases will succeed see here those two are succeeded so this is how you can handle or uh, you can capture uh, you can catch the uh, exception in order to test the uh, exception handling while writing the test cases hope you clear with how we can uh, catch or we can write a test cases when a method throwing the exceptions thanks for watching have a nice day